so in this video we will discuss about the involute of square with the side 30 mm so first we need to draw the square with the side 30 mm then uh, we need to finish the figure okay so draw the square with the side 30 mm that means uh, type polygon command and sell it so give the number of sides as 4 so for this square it is 4 so type 4 then go to edge method and select the first point on the screen and move the mouse to the right side and give the side distance as a 30 like this okay and now Uh, draw the line with the distance of uh, uh, n into side so that means uh, n means it is a, a number of sides for the square it is 4 and uh, side means it is the side distance 30 so 4 into 30 equal to 120 mm so we need to draw uh, a line with the 120 mm distance so by using the line command we need to draw the line with the distance of 120 like this then uh, divide this uh, uh, 120 line into n n parts so that means if the number of sides are equal to 4 so we need to divide this uh, line into four parts so use uh, divide command and uh, give the number of segments as a 4 okay like this so after the division for the visibility we need to use ddp type option so type ddp type and change the point type like this and now Uh, type the array polar command and select the object so object means uh, a line and uh, three points so then press enter and then select the center of square with the mouse then observe the menu so in that the change the items as a Uh, four items okay we need to change change it as a four items why because uh, the number of sides are four if it is a pentagon number of sides we need to fix it as a five and uh, this line we, we have to divide it as a five and the diagram will be uh, a pentagon okay so now coming to our uh, diagram so then uh, after completion of uh, this uh, array polar then we need to use a spline command for uh, joining the required points like this that means uh, uh, first line if we consider the first line uh, first point is our required point so from the starting position to the first point and uh, second line uh, second point and uh, third line third point and the uh, fourth line uh, it is nothing but a fourth point that means a last point so then move the mouse Uh, to the right side then uh, leave the mouse and uh, press enter so don't click with mouse just move the mouse to the right side then press enter enter in the keyboard then uh, we need to trim the extra portions uh, for uh, for that we have to use the trim option okay so before the trim uh, we need to release this uh, array polar command to the diagram so if we if you don't release this diagram the trim option is not applicable to this diagram so for that purpose we have to release the uh, array polar command to the diagram so that 
we use explode command explode explode command type explode in the command bar and select them and next select the uh, array polar diagram and then press enter okay now after that uh, use trim command then you can remove the extra portions like this some portions you can remove with the help of the mouse without uh, using the trim option okay so after completion of uh, the removal then uh, give the required letters like a b c d for the points corner points and uh, division points as one two three four like this and also mention the uh, and also mention the uh, curve points as p1 p2 p3 and those p1 p2 p3 p4 uh, we need to maintain with uh, donuts In the donuts so use the donut option so that means inside 0 outside diameter as a 1 so give it at p1 p2 p3 and p4 like this and also mention mention the dimensions so we need to mention the dimensions by using the linear dimension uh, we have to give the side distance as 30 mm to the square so for this uh, diagram uh, the dimensions are uh, only a 30 mm side so if you mention that then uh, it is uh, completed and also you can mention the 120 mm distance so like this we have to complete the involute of a square okay so i hope everyone understood this concept see you on next lecture okay bye